guys, I'm Sam West, uh, driving the 180SX. Uh, you would have seen me at Bay Park crashing into the walls last year. Not a great season last year, but we've built a new car, so should be good this year. Nice aggressive initiation, lots of angle, he loves his angle. Dave Stepper jumping into that pocket. Sam West doing a nice job of filling that zone. A lot of angle and flicks up. A couple of handbrake adjustments to get into the final corner as there is contact into the driver's door. Another wing mirror. Had a decent season last year, a few ups and downs. Favourite part was probably the drive down to Manfield. Um, Bay Park was good because it's the home track, but uh, we're looking to go big this year. Is he going to stick it to the wall because he told me he's going to win it or bid it? And here goes the wall! I told you so! And that's not a commentator's curse, that's my bro Sam West out there. He told me that if he doesn't win, <laughs> he's going to lunch that car. So I let everyone know that uh, if I thought I was going to lose the battle, I'd probably write the car off on purpose because I knew I was building a new car and I was coming up against Connor Halligan, one of the boys, and didn't do too well. So uh, in my lead, I uh, stuck it to the wall and pretty much rode off the old car. Connor Halligan was putting the pressure all over the back of him for that top 24 and he just washes out three wheels off and as Steve alluded to, Sam told him personally, if I don't win it, I'm going to stick it in the wall, I'm going to bin it. As Steve said this, this is the moment right here, he said, win it, bin it, and there it goes, bang. And it just straightened him up, wonder if he got off the gas. And oh look, that's some height from that car, it doesn't look all that high on the video, but I can tell you what, that will feel like a massive jump. Killer battle for me last season would have been with uh, Mr Potros at uh, Hampton Downs, always a good battle with me and him, usually a bit of contact, um, unfortunately he got the win again for the probably eighth time in a row, but get him this year. They bring us a nice early initiation from the Jason Overs builders. 180 and he's a little bit shallow on the first clipping point Sam West but Sean Potros is right there with him. Sean Potros I think has watched what his teammate did and has followed a very similar line. Oh that was almost an over rotation, ran him out of room but both drivers still kept their foot down as they come down to the final turn. You guys would have recently seen this in one of the last videos but uh, we won't worry about this because it's got a dirty V8. But Come over here, we've been, uh, me and the RHP family have been building uh, this new car for the season. Uh, we've had sort of everyone in on board, you know, wire wheeling it back, sanding everything back, building new tunnels and everything. Got the trusty old 2JZ uh, built by Taylor Automotive. Um, this thing's been pretty good to us, 800 horsepower. Borg Warner Turbo, Hypertune Manifold, just slowly been getting it up to spec for the pro season. Uh, Darren Kelly's hooked us up with some new three-way BC shocks and Red and Harrison performance steering kit. Fresh ones going in there. Uh, we've put a lot of work into this chassis to get it up to uh, pro standard as the last car was probably still not up to scratch. Uh, we've got a KRC power steering setup that's gone in there, so getting away from the electric steering just for reliability. Um, if we come to the inside of the car, we've sort of just tidied everything up. Kurt's got us a new tunnel set up in there. Sicky handbrake, Nicky Sam. Woolwood steering column. We've probably put 200 hours labour into this car just to get it to where it is now. Um, fresh wiring from uh, Tom. So he's tidied all that up for us and got Phoenix cooling system to cool that 2J down because we had uh, overheating issues last year. Again, just all the fabrication gone into the back thanks to Kurt and the Red and Harrison team. Um, everyone's sort of put their bit into this car and we've pretty much gone over every little bit of this car and made it as best we can.
This is Aiden Daly's Pro Sport car. I'm pretty excited to announce that D1NZ is going to be doing a scholarship for an uh, up and coming grassroots driver that hasn't uh, dabbled in Pro Sport before to get a free entry to D1NZ. So what we need you to do is make a unique video that's legal, drifting, skids, whatever you want to do, something exciting. Uh, send it through to info at D1NZ. It'll go on Oversteer TV's YouTube and whoever gets the most love will win a free scholarship and get to come drive with the likes of these boys. So you want to come bang doors with the likes of Aiden Daly? Get your uh, videos in and see how you go. Mark your calendars. D1NZ 2025, a season you won't forget. So Skylar, if someone approaches you with a V8 like that, you tell them to hold it. But if they've got a Jay-Z, then you just go, yeah, like my daddy. All right? Yeah. Good, look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Too big a <laughs> Oh, what are you been up to? <laughs> Is that where the lumps from? Excited to announce that. Uh, <laughs> it, you dog. <laughs> this is Aiden Daly's. Kit, <laughs> you gotta move. <laughs> this gotta move. <laughs>